Hi, this is Susan Hurd, and the book that I have read is Gay and Gray, The Older Homosexual Man, written by Raymond M. Berger. Dr. Berger is an assistant professor at the School of Social Work at the University of Illinois. His purpose is to dispel any preconceived notions of male, homosexual, older adults, and just to give the readers a sense of how these men have had to adjust not only to their own sexuality, but the aging process as well. And he uses a combination of six case studies and 112 questionnaires. The book is broken up into two different parts, and part one is the, the interview study, and he gives a kind of general summary of the findings of that interview study. So he covers um, the responses to items like coming out, when did this happen, how did it happen, were there any ramifications? within the family or the community as a result of that. He examines intergenerational attitudes, so how do these older men feel towards the younger homosexual community and vice versa. How were they discriminated against? There were stories that men shared of how they were discriminated at work and in the service and how they feel about that. And these men were also asked questions about uh, their their life. How do they feel that they've done over the years? Do they feel that they've adjusted well? How do they view retirement? How do they view the aging process? And how well have they adapted to being homosexual and aging? There were six chapters dedicated to sharing the actual life stories and perspectives uh, of six interview respondents. That, to me, was the most interesting part of the book. And before each story, the author would include just a, a short paragraph that described the, a little bit about that person's personality or the surroundings where the interview occurred. Some were interviewed in their own homes, in their kitchen, or uh, perhaps in the office of the interviewer. The second part of the book is about the questionnaire study that took place. And the author talks about the study methodology and gives a little description of the sample. He talks about how the questionnaire was drafted and then pre-tested before it was used. and how they designed a two-page fact sheet which de described the purpose of the study and the volunteer nature of the study and how their identities would be protected and so on. There was also a summary of the responses to the different questions that were asked. So he has tables that indicate the uh, ages, how these people rated their own sexual orientation, their living situation, their marital status, if their relationships were exclusive, their education levels, um, occupational and retirement status, how much they earned, their political and religious preferences, and how they perceived their own health status. There was also a summary that was provided about the answers that were more psychological and uh, social in nature, such as um, self-acceptance acceptance items. So like one of the questions was, on the whole, I am satisfied with myself. And there was a little Likert scale. So on one end would be strongly agree, and on the other end would be strongly disagree. There were answers to questions on dep depression, how satisfied they were with their lives, if they've had to conceal their sexuality, uh, how well they've done doing that, or if they did not have to, to do that, their relationship to younger age cohorts, and their attitudes towards retirement. The author closes by discussing some of the prejudices that 
these men have had to endure over the years and how they've adjusted to being homosexual and now older, some of the psychosocial problems that exist, and then finally offers some recommendations for services and policies for the older homosexual. Finally, I just wanted to share with you what the appendices had in them because they were very interesting for me to read through. Appendix A had the advertisements that were used in order to recruit the participants for both the interview and questionnaire portions of this study. And they were subsequently posted in areas where homosexuals were known to frequent. Appendix B was the questions that were used for the um, face-to-face -face interview with the, the 10 men. And Appendix C was the written questionnaire that was actually given to the 112 participants. The author also included the information sheet that discussed the nature of the study. And he also included the form that was used in order to secure informed consent from the participants. I really enjoyed reading this book and um, I'm very intrigued with the whole topic and, and time permitting I really want to pursue reading more books about this topic. Thank you.